Okay, so let's have a look at active transport. So active transport is a type of transport that is active. It's, a, it's different from osmosis and it's different from diffusion where it just happens because of the natural energy in the molecules. But this is the movement of substances against a concentration gradient. But this time we're going from low to high concentration. Now because of that, we need extra energy to be able to do so. So think of it like a like a hill. Normal diffusion is like a it's like a boulder at the top of a hill, and because of its natural movement, it's going to roll down the hill, nice and easy, nothing, no effort needed. Active transport is like trying to push a boulder up a hill. You're going to need extra energy to get it there. It won't do it on its own. It wants to stay here, but we need to get it up the hill. So it's movement of substances against the gradient from low to high concentration, extra energy needed. Okay, now some examples. So we've got an example for an animal, the intestines, and then an example for a plant, the roots. So lying in the small intestine, we have these, these folds, and they're called microvilli. And their job really is to have a large surface area for absorption, absorb nutrients as quickly as possible. So this is on the inside. We have the blood vessels on the inside of these microvilli. And as the food particles move along, the nutrients, all the lovely amino acids and glucose and minerals and vitamins and things, because you want to get them in as quickly as possible, sometimes we're going to use active transport to almost pump them into the microvilli and then into the blood to go around the body. So the intestines is a great example of active transport, particularly for glucose. In plants, the roots is a good example. So this is a root hair cell here. And this has this extended part here, which is the root hair. And again, we're on a large surface area. So it's a little bit like the microvilli in the plant. And their job is to absorb nutrients from the surrounding soil and water. And again, it's active transport. We're trying to get these minerals across into the plant as quickly as we possibly can sometimes from a low concentration to a high concentration. So we need the pumps, we need the active transport. So active transport is the movement of substances from low to high concentration, extra energy is needed. Good examples, the intestines in animals and roots in plants. Thank you.